So I've got another um, scratch right here. It's relatively small, but we'll go ahead and um, try and get that re that one repaired. You can see that most of this enamel here is kind of chipped away. We're gonna sand this down to make it smooth and then um, we'll spray right over the top of it and we'll see how it goes. So this is what we will need to um, fix the rim. Some sort of sanding element. Uh, in my last video, I used this sand sponge and it works great. Um, it's just a little bit more manual. Uh, it, this time I'm gonna use this uh, rotary speed, kind of variable speed uh, Dremel tool. You need some sort of rag just to wipe the, the rim. Some scotch tape, uh, or excuse me, some sort of um, masking tape. I like this uh, blue lock uh, scotch tape. And then um, paint for the rim. Uh, this is the correct matching paint for the 21 inch uh, induction rims excuse me, 20 inch induction rims. So it's a little bit more flush and a little bit more flat. Blends in a little bit better. I'm gonna take my sanding sponge here and just kind of cut that down just a little bit. You can see this part's really smooth right here. Just this part here, there's still some cracking from that enamel that's on there, and I'm just gonna have to smooth that out a little bit. talk about it in the last video but once you start this you do get kind of a pit at the bottom of your stomach feeling um, because it looks pretty bad right here and you start to think wow I don't know if I did this right or if I'm doing this right um, but it ends up being uh, covering it up pretty well uh, it's obviously not as good as if you know a professional takes the rim off the vehicle and dips it uh, evenly but it is good enough to cosmetically hide any imperfection Plus the amount of times that I've scratched, I've scratched these rims at least eight times and you know you would be bringing it back to the to the uh, same guy to have him re-dip the wheel every time.
That's about as much as you need to do for that first pass. So you're really just trying to spray kind of right in here. Hopefully get some spray on there. Okay, so there's the finished product. I just pulled it away. You can, if I really zoom in there, you can see that there's still a divot. But, you know, you pull back any bit, you could tell. It's very hard to tell that there was anything there at all. So I don't know if this is the best solution to, um, you know, fixing your rims, but I will say for the cost of just the spray paint and some, some other, uh, you know, household items, it's definitely worth it. Uh, I have done every rim on my vehicle at this point, And, you know, again, this is it's very hard just from the naked eye just to look at these rims and determine you know, where, where the blemish is. One last time on the rim we just did. Again, you really have to zoom in to find that kind of divot. So I hope this helps. Thanks.